dating in 2023 be like? Let's talk about it. The men want to be a girl so bad. They want princess treatment so bad. You already know how it goes and they always prove the point to be true. When something doesn't go their way, insults and name calling. And it's our fault. We made them that way. Some girls have been so desperate that they made it easy for men. Men are no longer hunters and or givers. Men are still hunters. We just don't go after women that are not worth hunting. And we learn to limit when we give until you prove you're worth giving to. They want to be receivers. Let me give you guys an example. Here we go. Someone I was dating briefly told me that if they were to stay with me, they would be settling. So now your feelings are hurt. Go on. Naturally, I was like, please do a go on, elaborate, because I am fucking prize. Clearly, you weren't the prize to him if he wanted to stop seeing you, but go ahead. He had said prior to interacting with me, women would pursue him 95% of the time. The girl was the aggressor making the first move, and he didn't have to work that hard. That I made it too complicated, and that I was too difficult. Oh, you weren't difficult. You were too difficult to pursue or please when there's other women that are pursuing him, inviting him out to events, inviting him out to concerts, inviting him out to games, and or etc. So with you, he had to do everything. But with other women, they were participating in plans and events with him. And you're surprised he dumped you? That the girls were the ones that were initiating everything, sometimes even offering to pick him up and paying for set occasions. And I was just like, Here's the thing. Telling women the truth has a high cost. Mm. And some people think they can pay it, but you'll know the first time you tell the truth what happens, the blowback. And this was proof of Kevin Samuels once again being correct. He told her she was too difficult, therefore not making it worth his time to date her. And look what she's doing. Filming herself saying that he was a weak man because he wouldn't stick around to deal with her making things complicated when he has better option. I want to give a special thanks to Ken, Johnny T. Kennard and Larry Smith for your generous contribution in supporting my channel on Cash App. Please know that your continued support is greatly appreciated. So of course dating me would be too much work. It's too much effort. And this is a man in his 30s. And I was like, well, don't let the door slap your pussy on the way out because I'm not going to do that. And I guarantee you, he doesn't care and you are not on his mind. I promise you, he's not making videos of you. By the way, is that a car seat in the back? Let's not forget what comes along with dating a single mother. What it means to be a single mom. So as a single mom, a single working mom, I have my plate full to the maximum, right? I don't have free time. The time that I do have free, I just want to relax. Come on, you know I have things to do. I have a child to take care of. I can't just go out. Don't just assume that I'm going to be able to drop off my child somewhere because most likely I'm not. So unless you're offering to pay for the babysitter, I'm not going on that date. Also, offer to pay for the babysitter. And chances are the women that are inviting them out and participating in putting events together, they're not single mothers. So why would he continue to deal with you? And then girls want to complain that men don't act like men, but then you're over here pursuing men and being the aggressor and teaching men that they have to do even less than they already do. So of course we know men are simple creatures and they're going to settle for the easiest thing. Is he settling for the easiest thing or is he just spending time with women who are willing to put in effort and participate? Especially if you're not making them spend money, you're picking them up, you're asking them to link up, you're being the pursuer like girl. Well, women have been fighting for equality and evidently these women are cool with spending money on him. Clearly, they must see that he's worth it. Needless to say, that situation ended because I'm not paying for a bill. I'm not making plans. You want me? You need to look for me. You need to pursue me. You need to come find me. You need to plan things. You need to take me out. Like, I'm not doing this and I'm not doing that. And how did that work out for you with this guy? Dude is out there living his best life and you're in your car recording yourself complaining and calling him the P word. I'm not with it. And it's very <sighs> that in my 30s, this is happening. But I understand because if it's a man in his 30s, they usually date down in age. So they're probably dating a little bit younger girls than myself, right? Yep, men in their 30s, 40s, and even their 50s date women in their 20s. I wonder if she's ever heard of this thing called the wall. And these younger girls have set that tone and these bare minimum expectations. And I ain't with it. I ain't with the sh You got me up. You're not down with the ish. 
And that man and men like him don't care that you won't participate. And men that will date you, once they realize you're making things too difficult, they're going to dump your behind too. No man is going to jump through all the hoops you're expecting them to jump through for a 30-year-old single mom. Hence, the car seat in the back. Notice how they keep saying that they're the prize, but they never give us any details that would make us agree that they're the prize. This is a prime example of what Kevin Samuels was talking about when he said that women are going to have to compete if they want to go after the man all the other women want. Pretty privilege exists. And let's say you're an, a six to an adjustable six. You can play in that pretty privilege area. But are you ready to do what comes along with that? Are you ready to have to compete? Are you ready to have to fend, defend your territory? Fend off all the women, the, the, the other thousands, the hundreds of thousands of women coming after your men on a daily basis? Are you willing to sit back and understand he has options and it's up to you to make sure that he comes home? See, you've been told that it's his job to put you on a pedestal and look, there's, or else there will be no other way to really explain how mean and honorary and how difficult and disagreeable. Let's stop it right there. He said women making things too difficult. Now, what did she say the gentleman said about her? That I made it too complicated and that I was too difficult. And there you have it right there. What man or woman is going to continue to pursue somebody who makes things not difficult, but too difficult? when they have options that are not giving them all this resistance. The reality is, she's not the prize she thinks she is. She's a difficult woman expecting men to jump through hoops to be with her. Here's my question to her. Do you realize you're not the only woman on this earth? Here's a woman talking about all the stuff that she's not gonna do, not realizing she's not the best choice for a man who's being sought after by many women. This is a woman that's in competition with other women, younger women, and she feels she doesn't have to compete. She's saying all the things that she's not going to do, but she fails to realize that what one woman won't do, there are a thousand other women out there that will. Think about it. She says, I'm the prize. But nowhere in this video is she saying that men are coming after her in droves the way women are coming after him. So if she's such a prize, she wouldn't be making a video about this guy. She wouldn't have any time because she would be too busy trying to decide which one of the plethora of men to go out with and spend her time with. Kevin Samuel said, winter is coming. Ladies, winter is coming. Leftover cake, leftover women. Ladies, it's it's you, it's here. Basically what, the, what, basically what women in Korea and Japan are hoping that men, single men who had no family, no children, and have been locked out of the sexual marketplace because of this hyper hypergamy will somehow come and save their lives. Not going to happen. And now we're starting to see women making videos like these proving he was right. Ladies, here's some food for thought. A third of the men out there are using their passport and going to other countries to deal with women over there. The other third of men are checking out of dating altogether. That means that the men that are left are the only ones that are gonna deal with you. That brings your chances of getting a top tier man way down. Especially if you're over 30 years old with a kid or kids. Being over 30 years old and a single mom, do you really think you have the leverage over a 20 year old woman with no kids? If you do, just hold on to that thought. I guarantee you, time will prove to you, you don't have the leverage you think you have. I'm tired of being alone. I want to share my life with someone. I am just freaking tired. Hey, somebody had to tell you, and I love you, so it might as well be me. Don't forget to subscribe and click that notification bell to get notified when I post a new video. I post a new video every week. And in the meantime, will you please act right? My name is Raul. See you in another video. So if you enjoyed this video, check out one of these two videos right here. I'm sure you'll enjoy them too. And if you like, you can visit my channel. I have plenty of videos there. Go ahead, don't be scared.